Good morning, everyone, and welcome to One World Online monthly webinar. We are very excited to share our business news, product news, and team news. And uh, we have uh, uh, we have uh, four presenters, uh, five, actually five presenters, who is going to update you on all our news. Please welcome our CEO, Alex Fedovsev, and he will be covering uh, our highlights of the month. Thanks, Anastasia. Hello, everybody. As you're probably all aware, um, October and November this year were really interesting for multiple reasons, because there is a major crypto market correction that's going on. And there is an ongoing debate if it's a good thing or bad thing. Uh, it's probably a good thing in my mind, because this wave is um, wiping out all the um, products and projects that are not necessarily real. It was just part of the hype and uh, as we call foam from last year and the good quality projects of course are surviving and uh, doing stronger and going through this uh, process by uh, releasing new products, uh, building communities and uh, becoming even stronger than before because it's uh, very similar to what happened in dot-com era back in early 2000. So from my point of view it's very similar. You can see a reshaping of the market. There's less and less of uh, um, mediocre offerings and much more on the quality side. The clients of one world that enter in the crypto blockchain market are usually really high quality companies. You will see a few names today. And there is a major transition from utility to security tokens. Uh, there is a really appetite for anything that has real assets behind it. So I think we fit really well into this uh, new trend and this transition because one world tools are still very applicable. Everybody needs promotion. Everybody needs marketing. People want good conversions. They want um, engagement, interactivity, and we um, still deliver all these values through our tools. So I think state of industry is actually does play well for us, not, not in a bad way, because we are focusing on only high quality customers. So our strategy remains the same, no change. I continue building uh, strong channels, and we'll talk about one of them today, which is uh, um, our partnership with the, some service providers that bring initial token offerings to the market and use one world as a promotion tool and we build an excellent product and operation support for it on the sales side we are um, uh, really happy to announce that in addition to zoom and true which we talked last time now we have another great company called preflogic that's a company from new york developing software tools for next generation token offerings focusing on compliance and security they all became our paying customers and we're doing uh, campaigns for them of different types in the uh, US and globally. And of course, more to follow. You will hear some names too. Uh, on the team side, uh, we um, uh, added a few advisors uh, that also do business development for the company. You will see them on the next slide in uh, Sweden, Malta, and Singapore, which helps our global expansion. And these are not uh, on the cost side, it's more on the benefit side because they have self-motivated uh, terms uh, of participation. And uh, product, uh, I'm really happy to see an engineering team delivering on scheduler. All our sprints are happening um, at, on time, even a little bit ahead of scheduler to deliver this automated campaign management in late December, version 1.0, and have follow-up releases in early next year. So this is also very encouraging, and I really appreciate the hard work. And, and on operations, we have our team also doing a great job on building this prime ad exchange. Now it's uh, not just ITO, but also STO markets. Very much the same concept. We uh, connect demand and supply. You'll hear from Logan on that front. And uh, many events happened uh, lately, and we participated in demo days in Asia, specifically Hong Kong, Singapore, and Bali. We got a few really interesting leads, including local companies that will become probably one world customers down the road, and uh, very good partnerships too. So I think overall, I'm very pleased with the progress between engineering and pro the product team and the business team. There is a continuous focus um, on making our promises, have a strong product, have a good business process, and have a great pipeline of customers. And some of them, as you can see, are churning into paying clients. And you'll hear a lot about Zone, True, and Preflogic from us, because the good news is that the more successful they are in these campaigns, the more marketing money they're going to spend, which means that one world will keep growing their business on based on success of initial stages, which I think is a really healthy model and will continue to be a good combination of technology, the software tools, 
and a great network that we are utilizing to make our customers successful. This is a quick overview of our most active advisors. It's a part of our advisory board, but just so you know the names. We have this new additions, Andreas Johansson out of Sweden. He's a person who runs Blockchain Association of Sweden. Very talented uh, person and um, a big um, supporter and fan of One World. So he's bringing a couple of opportunities from Europe and he's gonna be in California uh, in December. So we're gonna do a few things together on the partnership basis. We have Andrei Rudenko in Singapore. He is, um, has an investment banker background and helping our business development in the region. And you all probably know Singapore is a very active hub in Asia with the concentration of money, talent, and the great companies. And last but not least, Tuta Rucci in Malta. She's one of the people that very involved in the blockchain movement on the script island or blockchain island and bringing us very quality um, customers, partners, and uh, investors in the region. Uh, now um, let's turn to our business team for the update. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. It's Claudia Costarellas. Now, hello, Claudia. Please share your business updates. Yes, if you could please switch to the next slide, uh, Anastasia, that would be great. Uh, thank you. So welcome, everyone, once again. Uh, my name is Claudia Costarellas. I manage marketing campaigns for One Words Partners. Uh, with a major focus on ITOs and STOs, so initial token offerings and security token offerings, respectively. Uh, Alex already shared great news uh, uh, that we have for you today. So our uh, list of clients is growing. So no longer than yesterday, we signed another partnership agreement uh, with a very promising project, PrefLogic, as, as mentioned before. So they will provide a sophisticated platform and a selection of services that will enable entrepreneurs issue their security tokens and tokenize any assets they wish, basically. Um, we deem it to be a very well-structured project uh, with a strong value proposition. So we are extremely excited that we uh, finally um, signed an agreement with them and we will be providing a lot of different services to this particular company. Uh, also, uh, switching to another partner, we have been working uh, for a while for so uh, true. Um, we we provide not only uh, marketing campaign, marketing services, uh, crafting an interactive campaign for them, but also uh, we are bringing to the table our expertise on the industry and the good practices to follow when preparing for an ITO or STO. Uh, so the marketing campaign, which I will be responsible for, will be launched most likely in early 2019. Um, so the whole team is, uh, has been working on, uh, on this particular project and hopefully we will be launching it very shortly in 2019. Um, another super exciting project uh, mentioned by Alex Zone, uh, so a future leader in decentralized energy distribution um we provide a lot of different services as well so as you could see we are not focusing only on marketing purely but also on a uh, on a wide array of services like for example providing adversary um like providing access to exclusive investor events um to crafting of course marketing campaigns uh, for our partners like we will do for zone and this particular marketing campaign is also scheduled for early Q1 or late uh, Q4 of 2018. We are still debating what, the, what, what is the best uh, way to approach it uh, for the customer. So we are very excited for all of those signed deals. Um, and uh, we are very excited to see our pipeline growing. So you could see a few of the names uh, of the companies that we are uh, having uh, conversations with, like Scientific Coin, Behender, Vivid. Um, I believe that all of those deals um, will materialize and there will another uh, other deals that will come uh, and we will we will be very uh, pleased to to be part of those great projects that's it from my side thank you thank you very much claudia it's really great news and we are very excited to have a new uh coming clients from business side and now we are going to operations update uh please uh, logan uh, uh, please cover the, your slides. 
Thanks, Anastasia, and hello again to all of our viewers. This is Logan Johnson. I oversee advertising operations and publisher development for One World Online. November has been a month with strong developments across the board. Most notably, as Alex mentioned, our Crypto Prime Exchange, which we introduced last month as the solution for digital publishers in the cryptocurrency and blockchain space, is beginning to take shape, uh, especially from the supply side. Through the temporary to permanent approach of utilizing media spend from our initial token offering advertising campaigns to initiate direct relationships with publishers via a media buy and work these relationships into permanent deployments, we have had an increased volume of relationships created and appropriate conversations with such publishers. This has began to increase our available supply pool of crypto-specific placements for our ITO and STO advertisers, and we're in conversations around permanent deployments with many of these publishers as well. The successful launch and reporting of results for future campaigns such as all of those mentioned upcoming and in the pipeline from Claudia will continue to yield further success from this approach as we deliver real results to our publishers. Second, we have completed strong integration with our network supply channels. Now, without getting too far into this, this update enables our ITO and STO advertisers to automatically purchase advertising inventory across the web and launch campaigns in a more efficient manner. And it looks like this will be discussed further in the product update. We've also been, began working with new channel partners this month. In addition to our own business development, which I covered around publishers, we're focusing on working with contacts who have established relationships with publishers to further accelerate our rates of direct product deployment. Finally, we have completed more improvements to our programmatic advertising stack, completing integration of an additional nine programmatic advertising network, which now brings our real-time advertising stack to an offering of over 15 premium ad networks with the ability to layer one world direct ITO and STO advertising as a high CPM floor. The continued development and improvement of the ad stack is important as this is the monetization engine driving revenue for our publishers. Programmatic specifically acts as a backfill to our direct advertisers, ensuring we are able to deliver high CPMs to our publishers, regardless of deals lined up in advance, which is a key point in our current business development strategy aimed at crypto-focused publishers. These are the high-level updates from my side this month, and I'm looking forward to continuing to see these points through December to close 2018 in a strong fashion. With that, back to our host, Anastasia. Thank you very much, Logan. Um, thank you for all your updates uh, uh, regarding advertising operations. And now we are moving to marketing uh, and events update, which I will be covering myself. Um, so first of all, um, we have a really, um, really insightful medium story from uh, Alex, our CEO. Re uh, reasons why not to panic over the crypto markets. Uh, in the times of major crypto market downturns like we see now, with capitalization down twice, it's still important to see positive anticipations because almost all high uh, tech companies are deep in the experiments and pilots with blockchain and crypto. And we should probably hear more towards this uh, year, towards the end of this year. And so if uh, you want to learn more about uh, at least three big things that are about to happen this year, please read Alex Medium post. It's been shared on our social media channels, on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, so this month has been full of uh, business meetings and demo days, uh, which uh, were hosted in Asia. Uh, it was an Asian roadshow, and uh, we had an opportunity not only to attend conferences and uh, uh, have, uh, ha um, have meetings, but also uh, to um, 
uh, but also to host our demo days. And uh, we have a really uh, close partnership with the Liquid. This is one of the top exchanges on the crypto market. Uh, and also we have um, a really strong relationship with Golden Equator in Singapore. So you can see here, it's our clients, uh, Zoom, Machao, um, uh, Alex, our CEO, and also our partners from Goldo, Golden Equator. And uh, moving on to our uh, demo days, which we uh, hosted in a partnership with Blockchain Generation. The first one was in Hong Kong, and uh, we had a very, um, very close um, uh, network of uh, investors in uh, Hong Kong, uh, and they uh, showed uh, many. Um, uh, the, they showed a lot of interest into our presenting companies, which we brought from Silicon Valley. Then we uh, moved to Singapore and uh, it was a two day event uh, with a demo day pitch and also a follow up day with, uh, uh, with the private meetings. And uh, the last one was, uh, was hosted in Bali. And uh, this is pretty interesting place uh, to be because um, um, because right now, as we know, uh, blockchain and crypto is dominated by uh, by the following com uh, countries like Singapore, like Switzerland, the U.S., but also emerging uh, markets uh, are. Uh, are going into crypto as well. So hosting our demo days and attending conferences in Indonesia was a pretty unique chance to see a different perspective of crypto and blockchain from emerging markets. And uh, we saw the energy there and it's clearly, um, it's clearly not uh, yet affected by uh, FAD and uh, they are really, really open to uh, to go into crypto and blockchain uh, space. And now we are moving to the product updates. And please, uh, Dan, uh, go ahead and uh, take a lead. Thank you very much, Anastasia. <clears throat> Uh, our uh, product team uh, at this point is uh, focusing mostly on the uh, optimization of advertising campaigns and this is our main uh, focus uh, till the rest of the year. We really are looking forward to make a great tool uh, where everyone can uh, execute on their interactive advertising efforts and gain up to four times better um, results compared to uh, traditional banner ads and uh, and get more insights with the use of for uh, and and uh, incentivization by our tokens uh, to people participating we we're really getting an amazing results and data for our clients here and uh, and with this new product uh, update, we shall have significant uh, optimization of uh, setup campaigns and management that would really help us to scale and uh, provide our services in, uh, in uh, the larger pool of clients that we currently have. And here's the quick demo of uh, uh, what we are currently working on and this actually already pretty much built and uh, and uh, this is just a quick overview how the product uh, looks like we have a general uh, dashboard where users can see uh, what's going on so here we look at it as a new user um, and uh, we inviting the user to create uh, their first interactive campaign and then uh, pretty much uh, make the, uh, the settings uh, of uh, who they want to target, uh, uh, which interest language, uh, languages their target audience speaks and so forth. Of course, setting up the budget, uh, choose uh, what, uh, which campaign they'd like to have because 
At this point, we have at least four campaigns. It's a different sets of polls and ads, a poll uh, and static banner, only poll, uh, static banner only, and where people can do A-B testing and experiment uh, which uh, ads work best for their campaign and their audience. And uh, usually, like from our personal experience, polls and ads performs uh, the best, but it's a little bit harder to set up and sometimes uh, uh, people need a longer time and they even involve some of their uh, technical teams to make the campaign perfectly uh, working. So that's why we're offering a few different options. So uh, setting up uh, the campaign, uh, people can choose uh, themselves so all their uh, creatives and the uh, landing page they want the users to be at. And of course, pay uh, with one wall tokens, other cryptocurrencies or uh, fiat. At the end of uh, the campaign, um, actually, and during the campaign, they can always track uh, uh, their spendings uh, and performance in real time. And uh, pretty much have uh, they have a campaign management and executing themselves. Um, so on the uh, token economy and uh, crypto exchange update, um, first of all, I need to uh, show a disclaimer stating that one volt is not a speculative asset and the one volt tokens is a utility token that is used within the one volt ecosystem. And uh, um, just sharing some uh, general trading dynamics uh, for past month, we've seen uh, uh, improvements uh, 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 kind of prior and during or uh, announcements uh, of uh, major direct deals, which had a significant uh, uh, positive impact in the first half of November, but overall crypto market uh, uh, correction or dive uh, almost two times uh, did impact uh, one world token as well and uh, it followed the uh, overall uh, target uh, overall market trend and uh, and uh, currently was uh, is experiencing uh, uh, dive uh, as well back to Anastasia Thank you very much, uh, Dan, for providing um, product and uh, crypto updates. We are all uh, really excited to hear it every time. Uh, and now uh, we are almost done with our webinar. And uh, please raise your hand if you have any questions, uh, or you can also go to our chat or our email support at oneworldonline.com and ask your questions there webinar left in uh, this year is going to be on December 20th. Uh, so please um, register before the webinar in order to attend it live. And also the recorded uh, webinar we will be updated on our YouTube uh, slide share and then shared on all our social media uh, platforms. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Here's a list of our uh, communication channels. Uh, so the main one is our Telegram chat, where you can uh, uh, ask any questions. Uh, and uh, uh, the rest of them are uh, news uh, sources. Thank you, everyone uh, who had a chance to attend our November uh, webinar. We really appreciate this, and we look forward to seeing you next month. Thank you, and have a nice day.